Hi, I'm Compi, a game developer, kind of. And this is a project that I made a month ago. It's my first project ever. At this point, the only thing that I've ever made was a remake of the game Pong. And my goals for this game were simply to just put art in a game, make a game like function with like some sort of score, and to make music for a game. And that, I've never done that before. On the first day, I wasn't planning on making the game in one week. It's weird because now I look back and I could have made it in like a day or two. Um, I started by simply making a player that could walk around and I made a jump that didn't work. I wrote down that I was trying to make this game because over the last several months I'd been making YouTube shorts about learning about game development and coding and making art, but I hadn't made a game yet. On day two, I worked on the player's jump and I made these platform prefabs so that I could eventually spawn them on the screen. My concept for this game was for it to be an infinite runner, like Subway Surfers, or a different infinite runner game, and it would kind of just run infinitely. Pretty much the platforms would spawn on the right side of the screen, and you would keep having to jump from platform to platform. I made a system for the platforms to spawn, but they never despawned, so I would have to work on that later on. Day three, I worked on that later on. I made a collider that deleted all the platforms that it touched, and it just didn't work. And looking back, there was like, it was like just obvious to just make the platforms like destroy themselves when they got too far from the player. That's what I eventually did, but it took me four hours, and that's literally all the things. Ev that's everything that I got done on day three. Slow day. Day four, I drew five different platforms, which meant that I was really close to getting done with my first goal, I think, with one of my goals, which is to draw the art. I made art so that there could be like a grass and a dirt biome. Don't really know what I was thinking, but it made it, so it was, the, so it was less boring and more of like a game, um, but it was pretty fun to try and make it two different biomes. It never worked, but it, it was fun to try. My goal is to make the grass one like more difficult so that it, it, like every once in a while the game would get harder then I use the sprites to make platforms in like in unity and then I use those platforms to make prefabs so that I could like spawn these different like tiny bits of a level and then I set up the spawner to use these new prefabs and then I worked on some bugs with the players movement they could float they had an infinite amount of jumps and overall the movement was just like not good it wasn't like fun to use um, and that day four was when I decided to finish the game in like the next couple days. On the fifth day, I worked on a score system. At this point, it added up the score, but it didn't display it. It took me a while to make the score, and I just ended up using a similar system as from my Pung recreation remake, which I have a video on. You can check that out. Um, it still wasn't fully finished, but I was a lot closer to making it like a, not really a game, but you know had some some aspects that resemble a game. Day six was a Saturday, I think, so I had a lot of time. Um, I had only gotten one of my goals done yet. No, I hadn't. I had gotten none of my goals done. I made a list of the rest of the content that I wanted to make and like a backlog, I think it's called, of like extra content. I started by making a character for my game and I drew him. His name is Ibanana Jones because he has a hat and he's a banana and he's exploring. And that's when I started to feel like it was, like, a game. And I made an evil banana. And it looks like the P.E.K.K.A. from Clash Royale. I don't know why I did that. Then I did some things that weren't just dilly-dallying, like fixing the errors with the player's movement. Again, still, it never really ended up working. I could still, like, just jump and bang my head on the roof to replenish my jump. This is when I finally fixed the fact that I could just float though, so that was nice. I made it so that when you fall off the platforms you would respawn slightly above them. At this point in the script, I made it a while ago, and I was still really proud of this project, and I said all dramatically, but after all of that, I just went to bed right wrong. And I talk about this. <laughs> 
I talk about the song that I made for the game. Day seven, I focused on fixing small errors and like tweaking the game, as if I'm like, I don't know, who who knows what I was thinking, bro. I added UI to display the score finally, after like three days, and then I made it so that when you fall, you lose some score, so that there's actually like a reason to not fall. Um, then I made the final addition to the game. Which still looking back, I loved it. I, it felt so good to put a song into the game and like hear it. I don't know how to describe it. Like, <laughs> it was like it took me a while to add. I had to like convert the files and stuff because I made it in BandLab and they have a file that Unity can't. Whatever. I finally put it in the game, and the next day I like played the game. Like not really even played it. I just like. I think I played it, but I was just listening to the song mostly. I don't know. It was it was just nice to hear. It. That's pretty much all I did for this project. No, that's not pretty much. That is all I did for this project. Um, I made this other game. I just finished it up like the other day. It's a lot better, but I still I'm starting to see all the errors I made. And I'm making a game right now. And I made that Pong video. I have lots of YouTube shorts. And I have an Instagram. And I have a TikTok. And I have a Reddit, maybe? Reddit's corny, though. Thanks for watching. Bye.